here we go. This is the uh, middle section, or the funky part, or the boogie part, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is going to be three stages. First we'll learn this part. Second we'll learn. And third we'll learn the solo. Okay, so let's start out with the funky part. Um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, it uses some standard patterns and an A blues here. So here, we're going to play the fifth on the sixth string. And then we're going to jump up to the fourth string, and we're going to play the following. We're going to play 7-5, and then 7-5 on the fourth, I'm, I'm sorry, on the fifth, and then 8-5 on the sixth, and then come back up to play 8-5. But the five, the second time is on the fifth. So it starts like, so it sounds like this. You, you chunk it though. I'm playing, I'm palm muting a little bit uh, to play that. Uh, that's the first part. Then you play, and that is simply. On the sixth string, three and five, and then on the fifth string, five and three. Now, to sound a little bit cooler, you can play a power chord um, two frets up on the fourth. Um, so you play five seven and three five, like so. The second time you play it through. It's exactly the same, except you don't play that, that last uh, power chord, the C. All right? You play that whole sequence twice, and then it goes into an organ solo. <clears throat> the organ solos played, what you play in the organ solo is kind of like what a bass player might play, a little walking bass line, but it's kind of funky. So it sounds like this. All right, and it goes back into the. That I will admit, this part is tricky. It's tough. What's really helpful is if you play along with the record a number of times. So here's what the notes are, though. It's actually an E. Uh, blue, so it's gone from sort of a A minor down to E minor here. So here we go. So we'll play a open E on the sixth, and then the seventh string, fifth fret, which is also an E, an octave. Walk down to the five, then the four, then the two, then on the sixth string, the fifth, and the third, and the two kind of. Funky things are the five and the five on the five and the fifth string and the fourth string. So it sounds the whole thing sounds like this. Second time he does this. Very similar in the beginning, so he plays that's open to the seventh again, then the fifth, the fourth. And the second, but he plays then second. All right, so that's two, five, and on the fifth, and then two on the sixth, three, four, and then three on the fifth, and then you're back in your little riff. There. Oops. So that whole thing again sounds like this. All right. After the second, you play that another two times, and after the second time, there's a guitar solo. Little guitar solo, it kind of sounds like this. Uh... 
Okay, so that one is all the way up in the 12th position, E Blues. Oops. <laughs> all right, yeah, whatever. Okay, he plays a little more tastefully than that garbage. All right, so here we go. We're going to play uh, 15th, bend up a whole step. Then play the 15th, then the 14th, then the 12th. Then, on the second string, we're going to play the 15th, and then we're going to play a little dipsy doodle. We'll play 12th to 15th, hammer on pull off. So, we're going to play a hammer on and pull off. And, and. So we'll hammer on, uh, again, 12 to 15 uh, and pull off to the 12, and then we'll play the 14th on the 3rd fret. So uh, you'll play 12, uh, I'm sorry, 14, uh, and then the hammer on and pull off from the 12th to the 14th, 14th on the 4th string, and hit that little double stop, which is the 12-12. If you can remember that, that's amazing. Just listen to it and play it by feel, okay? Listen. Alright. Oops. There we go. One more time, very slowly. Okay, the second part is a little walk down. That one's pretty cool. So that one is um, you're playing on the 14th. You're going to play the, on the on the 14th fret, fourth string. You're going to play. That's what's going to start your your lick. And then you're going to play 12th, and you're going to hammer on and pull off on the 13th, like so. And come back down, play that 14th on the 4th, and then play 12, 14 on the 3rd, 14 on the 4th, like so. Play that very slowly, so. And then we're just going to simply play that same sort of riff there. Uh, on the third, we'll play 12th, hammer on to the 13th, pull off, and then walk the dog down uh, on the fourth and fifth strings, like so. Now, I like playing, um, so that is, you know, the walking the dog part is the uh, 14, 13, 12, 14, 13, 12 on the fifth string and the fourth string, on the fourth string and the fifth string. All right, and then I like, and then he gives a little uptick um, by hitting that little chord there, which is 12, 12, 12. Now I like playing um, the 15th fret on the sixth string. Um, he didn't do it, probably sounds cooler the way he did it than I did it, but anyway, it helps me keep that cadence going and it sounds, it doesn't sound too bad. So, uh, the whole second part is like this. And then you're back into the original thing, which is... We already went through that. Okay, one more time, that solo. That's the second part. Very cool part. I always love that part. Okay, take care. Here comes a third. <laughs> 